installation of drag chains on a Elsa Maker frame and why and how to do it. Um, first of all, obviously, when you order, you'll end up getting this as a complete long length. What you need to do is measure out from the back of your unit to the front of your unit and add three links. Once you've worked out how long it is, obviously you can get a screwdriver in between here, pop the link open and uh, it'll come off. You'll end up with an end that looks like this. And your other end will have an end that looks like this. Now have two screw holes. Obviously, this one on either end you'll have this, and obviously I've just split the link where I needed to split the link. Lay it out to the back of your unit, so it's right at the very back, and then curl the front over. This is the part where your cable comes through. Thread your cable all the way down. Once you've got it to the end. I've gone to the back of my unit and then what you can do is screw these two holes, screw it down to your base, whatever you're using. I use MDF because it doesn't, it, the lasers struggle to burn through this, so I've, obviously I've got a thick base as well, um, so that helps as well. But I do change it out every now and again. The reason that we install these is because... Obviously your cable's dangling at the bottom here and it can catch on your wheels, your wheel underneath, your bolt, sorry. Um, loads of different things it can get caught on. If you drop something on it, it can break your cable also. I carry spares um, just in the event of needing one. But anyway, once you've threaded your cable through, Obviously you need to see how much of a fit you need at the back to depend on where your board is. So obviously put both cables to the back, work out where your board needs to be for distance. Keep a little bit of an excess so you've got a bit of excess both sides. When installing this, what you'll need to do is you'll need to put it down, obviously thread your cable through, and just hold it at the back. And then push it for push it back. Sorry, obviously you can see it curls, and then when you come back to the front, some curl. And you'll see what I mean by this section here. So it could go further if it wanted to, but if you have it pulled tight here, you can break your cable because you've not got enough curve. Don't put a clip over this way because you can catch your bolts on it as it comes by, and then obviously it'll get caught up. Once you've screwed this down, there won't be that much movement in it anyway. I keep a, a finger thickness between the bolts and the, the plastic. So obviously you've got enough room for it to go up and down. Um, they don't make one for your motor or your laser. Uh, this is an endurance laser that I've fitted to it. It used to have a different laser on before, but obviously I've switched over to endurance lasers now. I'll leave a link in the description for the lasers anyway, um, and what this is actually called and how to find it. You can find it pretty much Amazon, eBay, lots of different places. For this cable, for this motor, and I also use the same method for the endurance laser, you can buy this plastic, which is cut in half so you can see you can put thread your wire through push it back through this can be found on cars lots of different things um, I think most car shops sell it as well um, the reason I use this is because obviously if you was lasering it, and for whatever reason either your laser or your motor wire got caught underneath your laser could potentially burn through it with a bit of more added protection obviously with having this on and it stops it getting caught on anything as well and it's dead flexible as well um, so you can use that for this but you can't use this sort for this unless you put it this way and have your have it so it folds 
right backwards and forwards um, I haven't worked that part out yet but I have seen a few people with different designs of lasers use it for the top but I just have it have this sort run into the back anyway um, I'll leave out all the descriptions um, of what I've used and where to get your laser from if you decide to change over to endurance lasers these are true lasers anyway so it is what it says on the laser um, there's a big group of us that have got all these as well so if you want to join the group which I'll leave in the description as well um, it does come with uh, glasses which are free as well which when you order them you just grab them which are the red ones um, I have tested this I wouldn't advise testing it itself but I have tested it I have put the laser on full power put the glasses in in line with the laser and it does does completely block it so these come free with your laser so they're really good um, to the green ones which I've used before and they don't block it but these are really good to come free with the laser as well so they're easy to get hold of um, really good support you can always ask on the group ask on the website there's always somebody about from different countries to answer any questions if you're stuck I'll be doing more videos on how to fit this as well um, and any other questions just feel free to message me